Hey there folks, Hermes Gambit here, and welcome back to our Mass Effect Legendary Edition stream. I will be your EMC for the evening. Alright, we just wrapped up Pharos. We didn't kill any colonists. Yeah, but we had to shoot that one guy. Well, I figured that was gonna happen anyway. <laughs> but I guess this is as good a time as any to start. Let's get to it. <laughs> A little info for everybody. House of the Dead is out today, digitally. But if you want a physical copy like myself, go to Amazon or any of the other sites, and it'll be out June 14th. Ooh, that's interesting. We want what? Hmm. News is going away April fourteenth, twenty twenty-two. Hmm. To make sure the stats you see are an accurate representation of your live audience and Gates community, the stat as they exist today meet the standard. Hmm. Oh man, that kind of sucks. So it looks like views are disappearing from here. April fourteenth. Hmm. Damn, that kind of sucks. I mean, it showed all the people who viewed my stuff over the last, what has it been, two years now? Dang, it has been two years. <laughs> two years and a half. Hmm. All right. I don't think we got anything left to do here. Let's go home, guys. I never thought I would be so thrilled to see a soldier. <laughs> Forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined, filtered. Ah, uh, that's why he was acting the way he was. What will you do now that the fighting is over? I may stay, try to recover my losses. I can have new supplies delivered within weeks. Perhaps the colony will survive after all. <laughs> Let me see what you have in stock. Of course. Return in the future, and I may even have more to see. Huh. Eagleizer. Hmm. Ooh, these look expensive. I'll buy a tornado off you. And give me the sniper rifle. And I'm gonna sell some stuff. Sell some lower level things. Striker. Hmm. I got a bunch of katana. Sell that. Sell it. Thunder, tsunami, phoenix. Lancer. Hmm. Exoskeleton. Medical interference. Shield monitor. Proton. Rail. Tungsten. Phoenix. Fancy seven. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I might as well sell all the seven armor stuff. I'm 
Not like I use it as much anymore. Yeah, get rid of the fires as well. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. I should get everything below three. Okay. That way my stuff wouldn't be so cluttered up. Give me... Hmm. Sure. Damn, we sold a lot, you guys. <laughs> Finally, that damn thing is out of my head. I can think without pain. <laughs> With the power cells you brought, I can get this place up and running again. Thanks, Commander. <laughs> it will take time. Greta? Hmm. Thank you for freeing us. Yeah, I'm glad we can save most, yeah. Thank you for everything you did. Thanks, Commander. It's great to be free again. Theros will be back in shape in no time. Man, y'all remember the actions I did at the Bliss? What's worth of human rations were delivered to an uncharted world in a Voyager cluster? Not clear, but it appears they may have been dropped off somewhere in the Amazon system. Okay, another mushroom for us. I have my own thoughts again. Thank you, Commander. It's no problem. I do what I can for you. We'll check on the rest of the people, then we'll head out for there. Ian? Free. I can't believe I'm free. I'm free. Thank you for giving me my mind back. Thank you for everything you tried to do here. Man, I like that. We did good, guys. These people are brave, but the Gath are relentless. My people know this better than anyone. Nice place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live here. Scratch that. It's not a nice place to visit. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. This wasn't so bad. Right? Right, guys? It wasn't so bad, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of here. That was the most ugliest looking plan ever. <laughs> and it tried to murder us. Ooh, take that. I just stopped doing that. What was I playing that makes me press the touchpad? I guess Horizon? You know what, guys? It kind of sucks. No E3 this year. I mean, like, a lot of folks say E3 was kind of like our holiday. Oh crap, I think I got rid of my good grenades. Damn! Oh, I could buy some on the ship. Ah, I gotta stop doing that. I was trying to pull up my map. Do 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 do. Let's see, actually, while we're here, Let's see. Hmm. Nothing's gonna compare to my HM stuff. Let's save that for Garrison Rex. Ah, 
What's up, demonic? How are you doing? Got to appear our Operation Rescue mission. To get out of that cave. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, I need one more dexterity point and I can wield that frost blade. <laughs> no worries, we're going to get you out there. <laughs> oh, here, there. You saw me in your world. We will die trying to get out. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination. All right. Commander, you look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? <laughs> I was just brain probed. <laughs> the cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Sure, why not, Liar? <laughs> it's worth a shot. Hurry, we don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Ah! It's happening again. No, yeah. No. <laughs> that was incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I I never dreamed. That was horrible. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so intense. You are remarkably strong willed, Commander. What you have been through. What you have seen would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What did you see? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Hmm. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the commander's mind is incomplete. Hmm. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Hmm. Everything I saw, you already know. Ah. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient, sentient machines. machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. Hmm. What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. Hmm. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Hmm. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. <laughs> that entire meal. Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. Everybody get out. <laughs> I sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Yeah, sure. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. I would have destroyed that thing regardless. That thing was horrible. That was the most ugliest looking plan I've ever seen. Exogeny tried to study it. Look, Look how, how that turned, turned out. out. <laughs> Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. I help everybody. Being human had nothing to do with it. <laughs> they were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes specters have to make sacrifices. Principles. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Goodbye, Commander. Sacrifices? We will be waiting for your I'm next spectre. I'm trying to save everybody out here. Williams, Commander, we need to talk. If we do not resolve this situation now, I am afraid things might become awkward. What oh, kind of awkward? Awkward, huh? I hope we can keep this civilized. I do not want things to become unpleasant. Because it's been so pleasant between us lately. Look, somebody in this room needs to make a choice. It ain't me, and it ain't you. <laughs> well, well. 
kind of choices we making? Dang. Who should I be with? Honest truth. I'm going to be real with y'all. When we hit two and three, you know who I want to be with. It's going to be a tie between Tali and Miranda. I'm kind of leading toward Miranda. I like her. She got it going on. <laughs> got that whole human weapon thing going on with her. But I also like Tali. Damn. I knew this would happen. <laughs> hmm. Let's talk, guys. Maybe we should try to work this out. I think we must. I may not know much about human relationships, but I understand the concept of jealousy. Jealous? Of you? You're not even our species. Perhaps that is why you feel threatened. I am a rival unlike any you have faced before. Hostility is a common reaction to the unfamiliar. Doctor, you keep smart-assing me, I'll show you what my hostile reaction is like. Yeah, right. <laughs> but seriously, everybody calm down. Both of you, settle down. We can, we can handle, handle this like mature, mature adults. adults. This is stupid. We're not married, Shepard. You want to get involved with some alien? Go ahead. It's none of my business. Uh, I want the third option, but... That's renegade territory. We are paragons. Hmm. Oh boy. Ah, uh, this is in the renegade for life. <laughs> paragons, oh dear. <laughs> I must team four star. Well, they're still putting out content. I've been enjoying their home for infinite loser episodes. <laughs> sell, sell, come pick up, Kami Guru. <laughs> Don't close the garage door. <laughs> hmm. Can I have you both? I want to leave on good terms. Don't get me wrong. Some stuff happening in Mass Effect 2, but... Ah, hmm. But yeah, I don't like you just enough. Alien buddies, actually. It's not cool. Hmm. Uh, oh. Goodbye. Ashley. I never meant for you to get hurt, but Liara's the one I really care about. Hey, we're all grown-ups here, right? Hope you two will be happy together. If you don't mind, I need to clean my gear. I feel bad for her, Shepard. I hope she'll be okay. I'll go talk with her in a while. Give her a chance to cool down. I suppose you're right. I'm sorry you were put in this position, but... I'm glad you chose me. I don't believe we should continue this discussion here in the comm room, Shepard. You know where to find me if you want to have a more... private conversation. Okay! Well, that happened. Paragon! <laughs> All right, talk to the council. Did not get the threesome I wanted. Jimmy, I didn't get the threesome I wanted. This is terrible. Now, let's check on the crew. Yes, Commander? Oh, man, you still got the same responses, buddy. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. <laughs> you do your thing, Presley. <laughs> I was hoping you had more dialogue after our big mission. Joker? Uh, hey, Commander, next time we touch down, let's try not to park the ship in a colony of mutant zombies. Just thinking out. <laughs> How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. <laughs> Balance isn't what you'd expect. 
takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, it does? I'm anything but average. Ah, oh, man! I kind of wish you could summon two out at the same time. Nah, dude. Miyazaki doesn't want this game to be extra easy for I have to go. Alright, see ya. That's why we get no horses in other people's lands. <laughs> hmm. That's good to know. Ah. Hmm, it's not a summon? Interesting. Oof. Hard to imagine the end game with this game. Look at bro, I know some people who finished this, but I'm like, Y'all are finished? Look at this huge ass map. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Reuniting family. I like to see that. Jaden, what's up? <laughs> Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's got to be some xenobiologists who want to read about the Thorium. The paperwork will keep. What's on your mind, Something man? On your mind? I'm just looking for a year. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. <laughs> Wanting to believe everything will be fine? It sounds like human, human nature to me. <laughs> yeah, I guess <laughs> some things carry across species well enough. I should remember that after what happened with Vernus. So what happened? Don't tell me you and Vernus hugged on graduation day. Before I met Vernus, hmm. I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird. Superior and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. It was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Glad you recognize that, Kate. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. What happened? I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana. Who? She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it Ah, out. man. She just wanted to what level those? Are they past nine? You know? Golden. Like hmm. Hero runes. And Vernus lost it. Beat the crap out of me. He kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talent. Right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic. Holy crap. Body. Almost as strong as I Manage now. At 17, that's something. Dang. Okay, that explains why I see a lot of people saying 12k is not a really big loss. <laughs> that explains it. You wanted to help a girl you cared for. That's a noble thing. <laughs> Damn, kid. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Fear? Hmm. Was a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training. I was about to ask why, but well, she is the deathbed sleeper. And he deals in death too, so. Yep, I remember. One enough to judge a whole race. I hate humans too. I remember what the announcer said. Fear. The death. Bad sleeper. What's his face? The all knowing. Oh yeah, I remember hearing that hearing about that for the quest, right? Hmm. Dang, there's a bunch of endings. I'm still going for Ronnie's. I gotta be a magical husbando. <laughs> I'm 
you still gotta meet loads of dung eater. <laughs> I just love the way that guy says. Hmm. Fair enough. A reasonable stance. Keep that level head and we'll do fine. Staying reasonable is about all we've got left. Everyone else in this galaxy seems to have gone out of their minds. <laughs> company accepted, of course. Thanks, Caden. You the man. <laughs> Keep it real. Ooh, new weapons. That are totally ugly. My stuff is already good. All right, we'll talk to the R later. We need to check on the crew. That's what I like to call them, the crew. Anything going on in my room? Yeah, not a damn thing. But I can't stand up on my bed, is not neat. like we got a little notification thing on our Twitch thing. They're getting rid of views. That kind of sucks. I like seeing all the views we got over the years. It shows how much progress we made. Engineer? Something I can do for you, Commander. Nah, I'm good. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Dolly, how's it hanging? Shepard, do you need something? Hmm. Nah, you ain't got nothing new, man. Let's talk about the pilgrimage. More about the pilgrimage. When my people reach mature, we leave our birth ships and seek acceptance with a new crew. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the fleet. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, hmm. we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone, leaving the flotilla and our families behind us. We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the fleet. Wow. This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. Hmm. Can a captain choose to reject the gift? Uh, that doesn't happen often. Wow. Most captains <laughs> are eager to increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. I figured out. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. Wow. I want to talk about something else. Like what? I'm gonna go now. I should go. <laughs> See you later. I was good talking to you, darling. Let's check on the rest of the crew. Rex, my man, how's sure. it going? Well, we finished our dialogue. Rex. Rex. <laughs> yeah, we're stalling for time. I have to break it down in easy to Looking actually. for supplies? Sure. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Now that I can... Ooh. Well, that's not a big... Mm, that's Krogan armor. Hmm. <laughs> Avenger. Got the sniper rifle. Hmm. Human heavy armor. Oh, it's a bit of a shame you don't have any. Thing for Tali. <laughs> Garrus, my man, how's it going? Commander, I wanted to thank you. Thank what you. for Garrus? For everything. <laughs> Taking me with you. Letting me be part of your team, I've learned a lot. I've thought a lot about what you've told me. 
about not sacrificing innocence to achieve the goal, about finding the best way through, not just the fastest. And I've been thinking about Dr. Salian, too. I convinced myself that he deserved to die, but then I started thinking about why I wanted him dead. I realized it wasn't because of what he did to those people. Huh. That was part of it, but I think most of it was because he got away from me. He escaped under my watch, and I didn't like that. I let it become personal. Ah. Oh, I guess. He's a good guy. Hmm. Let's see. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Oh, that's one of the squad lockers. I'll tell you he's been with me this whole time. Rex. Thunder, take that. Ooh, that's an upgrade. Okay, Rex is good. Guess my man. Harpoon. Let's see. Nope. Hmm. Uh, nah. Accuracy is a little down. Hmm, this is the upgraded version. Okay, do Alright. Kaden. Hmm. Oh, I guess this is right for you. Here. Yeah, that's a high one. And. See Unity Amp. Hmm. So I see we've already did actually Liara is next, right? Tsunami upgrade. Damn. Ooh. the same thing okay crews all upgraded and ready to go guess we'll head back to the citadel commander how are we doing what's your opinion on the last mission gotta admire those colonials that's about the worst place for a colony I've ever seen given the option I'd get the hell out of Dodge do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I'm off duty until tomorrow. I was gonna have a small drink. Bit of a celebration. If you're interested. What's the occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Hmm. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. Yeah. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration or hmm. an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? 
Hmm. There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. Why? I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander yeah. of the Shanxi garrison in the war. Ah, somebody famous, eh? The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. Now and I see. That's why you oh, tried yeah. yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. Huh. It takes a special kind of big head to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not going to let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserves better than that. Hmm. Let's find out more. What happened to your grandfather after the war? He was relieved of command as soon as Shanxi was liberated. They brought him back to Earth in irons. There was never a trial. They quietly hmm. demoted him and stuck him behind a desk. He retired a year later and spent the rest of his life working construction in the colonies. Sometimes we hear about attempts to get him exonerated in some official way. Nothing ever comes of it. Hmm. As I recall, your grandfather held out for a long time. Huh. The Turians wrecked the orbitals in the first wave and occupied the major cities. They sat in orbit, dropping rocks on anything that moved. Whoa. Granddad dispersed the troops. But when they went into the cities for supplies, the Turians would wreck a block to eliminate one fire team. Civilians were dying, his troops were starving, and he couldn't contact Alliance High Command. So he surrendered the garrison. Hmm. He refused to sacrifice his men just to save face for humanity. You planning to throw yourself on a sword to save face for him? Would it make a difference? Hmm. He's gone now. Dad's gone too. And who would it impress? I'll never be good enough for the Alliance. So now you know. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? Hmm. You're a valuable part of my crew, Williams. If I want an opinion <laughs> from the head, I go to Alenko. When I want one from the heart, I go, go to you. I, I may not like how you, but I always need people. But anyway, I've got things to do before we land. I'm sure you do too. Sure. Dismissed, Chief. Sir. Ooch. <laughs> Sir. That hurts. But the crew was doing well. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> Just as awkward as there's no L music in here. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Well, we'll see what we can do tonight. Now, I ain't got too much time, but we might make it. Who knows? Let's save. strength and I went the wrong way I was supposed to go to the medical hall this one right dang it yeah ah oh. damn I forgot it's down the elevator I've wasted so much time no not the elevator it's this side Yeah, I, I kind of don't want that. Unless it's that nice person that dropped us all the rooms. <laughs> yes, Commander? Is there something you need? No, I'm good. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Let me get some medjos. <laughs> That's understandable. I say y'all should go for it.
Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. Oh, yeah. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I like talking with you, Liara, no matter what the subject. You have been very understanding with me, Shepard. Very patient. I have. I appreciate that. I know there are some strange beliefs about my people. I am familiar with the legend of Asari promiscuity, but those rumors have little basis in fact. Of course. When one of my people joins with an individual from another species, it is a very deep and spiritual exchange. We do not enter lightly into a union. Hmm, spiritual thing? Sound almost mystical. mystical. A true union goes far beyond an ordinary melding. It is a connection that transcends the physical universe. Two become one. Thoughts and senses merge, identities intertwine. Memories and emotions weave themselves together, becoming entangled in a single rapturous whole. Ah, that sounds bloody terrifying. Experience. In some cases, it can be a truly life-changing event. I'm intrigued! That sounds amazing. Are you saying... No. Oh, no. Uh, I am not very good at this, am I? I'm sorry, Shepard. I am trying to explain why I have been so... reserved. The Union is more than just sex. It is the lifeblood of my species, the way we Asari evolve and grow as a society. Hmm. That is why I have never... Uh, I mean, that is why we must choose our partners with great care. Hmm. <laughs> I got unbelievable! I want you to be absolutely sure about this, Liara. I am only 106. Barely an adult by Asari standards, and I spend most of my time absorbed in my research. I never really thought about it. Not until I met you. You are very special to me, Shepard. But with all that's happened, Saren, the Geth, the Reapers, I do not know if we are ready for this. <laughs> These are dark times, Liara. Maybe once all this is over. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you Kinda like the elves, huh? There is too much at stake. We need to put aside our personal feelings and focus on stopping Saren. I wish it did not have to be that way. Trust me, I'm fine with sacrifices. it. Let's let's talk about something else. I am more than fine with it. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. See you later, Lear. Let's try to survive, right? I'm hoping it too. It'll be Friday or Saturday, maybe. But I'm banking on Friday. Well, long the wind. No, wind hasn't been too bad. It's been windy lately. Uh, yes, now. Hmm. Finished with Pharaoh, so we head back to the Citadel for a bit. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. <laughs> Top priority clearance. From Pat's we'll take it in the camera. Was it another? Is this one? Oh, okay. <laughs> Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. I <laughs> know you have them. I'll take all the help I can get. <laughs> We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. Hmm. You mean spies? No. Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special hmm. task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. Ah. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. So what did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission-critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, 
We know it was important. <laughs> Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. Hmm. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. Oh, I'm sure you can find it. There's a guy I watched. We'll see. He does strange. What's his name? It's a Gundam. He was using us too in his fight against Godric. He was helping out us. Guess helping out his friend too. <laughs> kind of looks nice, but it's very slow. <laughs> does a good bit of damage though. Think about it, he had the same armor as that guy in the round table. Something about that death armor, I think it gives you like extra HP during certain situations. I forgot what the skill is. Hmm. I'll look into it. The council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Ah, so you don't want any connection with me, huh? We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Oh, get up. Paragon. Para Paragon. Hmm. No, bro. I'll still be around. Got another few more minutes. Let's see you. Let's head to the Citadel. And we have docked. I don't know who I should take with me. Probably Tally and Garrus. Hey, you know what? I took Caden with me in a while. They do carry Garrus and Caden. <laughs> nah, I might need Tali for something. interior pressure with exterior atmosphere logged the commanding officer is ashore exo presley has the deck <laughs> why we run so awkward after years of poor economic performance exogeny has announced that its <laughs> research colony on pharos is finally returning a profit New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny stock rose sharply with the announcement. Ah, uh, so to keep the mission hush hush, huh? Surprising news. <laughs> the squad. See anything going here?
Alliance officials report that a Geth incursion into the Armstrong cluster has been repulsed, with huh. the Geth suffering heavy casualties. That must have been us, eh? In the event of future Geth activity, <laughs> the Alliance plans to maintain a strong security presence in the area. I forget the turn to right away of doing this. I'm sorry, this is awkward. <laughs> look at me run and look at me go. <laughs> Let's see. Thing going on in here? Masana? Thank you for all your help, Shepard. <laughs> Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? <laughs> what have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Well, <laughs> Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Cora's Den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier, all at the same time. Oh, okay. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. Thanks, sir. This place seems strange. There's a little more humans around. Ah, you'll be fine. <laughs> I just wanted to get to you. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we can walk around a little bit. Let's pull up the map. That's a Vena. Uh, Vena. Eh, no main sites. I guess we'll head to the seedier places. Take me to Flux. Are you already dancing? <laughs> Why do we need to stop dancing? I knew we'd be able to dance in this. Didn't. 
And this is fun. That's the case, we might head back to the ship. <laughs> and <laughs> see sick guy. Officer Lay. Hey, Commander Shepard. Good to see you again. Anything <laughs> you need? No, we're good. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. <laughs> Ooh. That's what I'm doing there. officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former alliance officer <laughs> major kyle hey i did that mission major kyle surrendered and is now being treated for severe post-traumatic stress disorder <laughs> okay though Admiral Kahoku, a respected member of the Alliance military, has uh. passed away. The veteran soldier who won the love of his troops during conflict with the Patarians died of natural causes. He died Kahoku horribly. Was survived by his wife and three children who are planning a small private memorial service. Oh. Alright guys, look like we're heading back out in the space. There's nothing to really do here. Stand by shore party. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo <laughs> Presley stands relieved. That's right, guys. I'm back. I'm back. All right. Guess we're gonna save here, and we're gonna call it a night. Let's see. <laughs> you will lose all save data. I know. I know. I know. guys that is it for our mass effect playthrough yeah we did a lot of talking we got to know our crew a little better <laughs> i sure will anyway guys we'll be back tomorrow with random stream friday i don't know what i'm in the mood for i did pick up something from the spring sale a while back so we might do that game I don't know what I'm going to move for. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, this is the Hermit. As always, thank y'all for stopping by. And I uh, will catch you later. Have a good day. And a good evening. <laughs> We're out.